I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. Sign this too. We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Yeah. You really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Mike! It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. Jesus Christ! I'm ten steps ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? You can trust me. Hoagie, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. I'd never do it again. Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I guess I guess I'm just in the extreme. I guess, I guess I'm in the uh What's going on here? I guess I guess I'm in the extreme minority in that uh, I, I I don't really I've never really cared for Loki, cinema, cinematically speaking. Like like the character's cool and all, but like I don't know. Like I just I've always thought his character was pretty whack, in my personal opinion. I don't know. But uh, but that being said, that trailer was fucking lit, fam. And uh, and even the trailer even the trailer before that was fucking amazing. It was like I listen. I don't really ordinarily ever care about this character. Like when that nigga died in fucking uh, Infinity War, I was just like, <laughs> you know, like some people were like said that they were crying and shit. Like when Loki died, like be like ah, like they cried and shit. It's like no fam. Like when he died in Infinity War, I was like, I think I think I like tilted my hat towards Thanos. So I was like, God damn, my nigga, you just you just smoked this nigga for no reason. But um. I was impressed, but no, the show the show looks like a whole a whole heap of fun. Okay, it looks like a whole heap of fun. Um, there is one thing I would like to say actually regarding that goddamn footage. Let's see something. Actually, no, fuck it. I don't even feel. I don't even feel like it. I don't even care. No. So so apparently, like some people think that Scarlett Johansson is the one that's that's in the trailer. I I don't think I don't think it's her. Okay, I don't think it's her. Fuck it. All right, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't, I don't think I did. I don't think it's Scarlett Johansson. Okay, I don't. I don't think she's in that scene. Okay, so why don't you, why don't you guys just go, just go, go bite yourself, you fuck. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. But <laughs> this fucking y'all ask how I'm doing. Most people don't ever. But I'm doing good though. Doing good. Most people don't usually bother to ask how I'm doing, but I'm doing good. Let's see here. Um, what's interested, but the trailer looks amazing. It does, fam. It does. Jesus Christ. I I didn't anticipate them um, taking this sort of uh, mildly psychedelic approach to the storytelling. You know, that kind of caught me off guard and shit. And um, there's like, I don't know, there's just like a weird, fun trippiness going on that it just seems like it just might like sort of like when loki's uh we winking 
winking at uh when was the last time you ever said wink or winked but you're winking at someone you know what i mean what the fuck but anyway when he was winking at that one chick on the plane in the airport i was like listen this might be a whole heap of fun that i didn't realize i needed um yeah that that was cool but i i don't know am, am i am i just like am i just the only person on the planet that's never cared for loki in the movies i'm talking about never never okay in the first avengers movie i could barely take him seriously because it was so obvious that they was gonna whip this nigga's ass all right like he he was never like a strong or intimidating villain like he wasn't iconic or anything like the actor's cool i like the character but like in terms of him in the in the movies like nah like it's again when when he died in infinity war i was just like like I, all right i mean big big up respect to thanos being a badass but at the same time like all right um i, I was way i was way more fucked up by by the hulk just being molly whopped in seconds um so maybe she'll be in other things yeah i mean her she she's not accredited right on imdb i i don't think she's in there fam i don't know where that theory came from but i don't think that i don't think it's her okay so you can you can suck a dick <laughs> that's what we're gonna start telling people they piss me off when, when certain people when certain people piss me off that's probably what i'm about to say like you can suck a dick and i'm just gonna continue on with my day let's see <laughs> what i feel like with loki they play a lot of fan service <laughs> well yeah i don't know i just am, am i am i wrong am i crazy or something i've never cared for loki in the movies ever um i suppose he's a handsome man but uh, not that that fucking means a whole lot. Let me see here, Boo Baker. Yo, what's going on, fam? I don't know. I've never cared for Loki. He, from the very beginning, he was whack. From the very beginning, I was like, this nigga's about to get his ass whipped. Who, who, who the fuck does he think he's talking to? Okay, Cap. I mean, imagine Captain America, the Hulk, and Iron Man, all three of them, enraged, like on some red kryptonite shit trying to take out Loki. Loki would be dead. He, he literally wouldn't even, I don't even think this nigga would last, I, I don't think he would last 60 seconds. I'll be honest with you. 60 seconds he's taken. But we, we don't even need to throw Thor into the into the middle of the ring. Um, never care for Loki. Fuck. Probably. He probably is. By the way, which is Bruce Sims. How's it going? How are you doing? Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something in the background here. I might not, as well, but because uh, sometimes the fucking music throws me off. So we might keep with the silence. And again, and again, in case you miss it, because there's a few of you guys watching. Um, so I guess I, I should promote streams from from now on. <laughs> but now, shout out. But uh, but listen, this this um, this channel right here. Actually, no. Let, let me make sure you fully understand. This channel right here is extraordinary. Uh, bedtime stories. I would I would personally love to, to reach out to them, speak with them. Actually, um, this is tremendous. The tremendous channel. And uh, this this fucking video right here is so fucking horrifying, fam. I am like I'm not I'm not e I am not easily spooked. I don't even believe in ghosts, but I must say this this right here has got to be one of the creepiest goddamn things. Um, this whole fucking video is just fucking creepy to me, um, because well, usually when this uh, when this YouTuber is speaking, right, it's scripted. There's no, absolutely nothing wrong with that, but usually when he's speaking, it's scripted. However, here um, he states, and you can tell that he's off script, and he's kind of just 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 uh, freestyling from the dome, kind of like I'm doing right now. And uh, goddamn, dude, there's just something like he he talks about this. Uh, uh, this time when he was like 14 or 15 and essentially what you're looking at happened and uh he states that like he, he was just walking back to the house or his buddy's house and he saw this this little girl uh running on the side of the house whoo shit that's creepy and 
Oh shit. Oh no. Y'all need to for real, for real, check that shit out. Cause it is utterly fantastic. But Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> Whoa, that's creepy. Um I another thing that's weird, I was talking with my buddy uh Josh about this last night. There was another incident uh that I've heard about that involved um a little girl. It's it's very it's fucking weird. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine it's just like dark out? You're like walking back to the house and like you see some little girl in a pink dress just like running past your house and you get there and like there's no one there. Um, and then, and then what makes it, and then what makes it real fucked, right? What makes it real fucked is that uh, fucking, you know, other people are talking about how, you know, there's this whole lore about uh, people seeing this dead little girl. Jesus. Jesus. Um, let me see here. Loki, he's huge with 14 to 25 year old girls. But may- maybe that's what I've been missing. Maybe that's why I've been what I've been missing. Because um, yeah, I've never cared for Loki like that. Ever. Fuck. Um he was always a terrible villain. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, the, the show, I mean, I'll give it to the show. The show seems like it's going to be a good bit of fun. It's going to be a good bit of fun. So I do I do want to see the show uh, for Loki, because I think that's going to be cool.